Jen Evangelista, they've recorded their first eight podcast episodes and plan to launch on the 17th with a trailer and two episodes. But honestly, we haven't had time to build much hype with the holidays and a new year push for the membership. How important is, is it to get list, ears listening right away? And is there anything we can do quickly other than announce on social media, which is dead for us, and send an email to get an audience? I've never really seen ads for podcasts. You can do an ad for anything, so you could do that. Is it okay for a slow start and then just get it out there, or should we wait to be more intentional? Please say no. Yes, it's very important. Uh, I mean, look, I didn't do it. I, If y'all remember my podcast story, I just had to get three episodes up right away so I could get Gary Vaynerchuk to come on, and that was like a deal. Like That was the whole way my podcast came about, so I didn't do any of this, but gosh, I wish I did because it really is important to get the reviews and the subscriptions right out of the gate because uh, iTunes is going to put you in the new and notable category. Now, that's sort of like people have been saying that for years now, so maybe that's changed a little bit, so maybe maybe you don't actually get new and notable anymore, but I do know that for a fact that it is important to try and get as many reviews and subscribers as you can those first two weeks. So I've got some ideas for you that I think you can whip out pretty quickly. The big thing I want to highlight is a giveaway. Okay. However you choose to do it, I'm going to show you a real quick way. And whether you guys have launched a podcast or not, the giveaway that I'm going to show you is something everybody can use. So you have a week. Okay. So throw a, a ratings party. No, you could do it for two weeks. I mean, you could do this after you launch. So for two weeks, you just want to get as many people subscribing and, and leaving you reviews as possible. So running giveaways, which I'm going to go into deeper, um, you could throw a real party in real life, even if that's just in your kitchen with your family and some cupcakes, but do it, but live stream it, put it in your stories, um, have some balloons, go by the grocery store and pick up some balloons and just have a little celebration. Um, do it on Facebook Live, uh, publish all your content that to match, like if you're going to do any blog posts or anything else, have it match your, your podcast content. Real easy thing to do. Switch out all your email signatures on every email address you have and ask your partner to do that as well to promote the podcast. And then I just put email 10 friends a day, just your friends. Because you don't, you know, unlike other stuff where we want to be really careful who we ask to follow us because, because it's very important because Otherwise, it's going to mess up your marketing. When it comes to reviews, it's it doesn't matter. You just want warm bodies. It doesn't matter. You just need people to go leave you reviews and subscribe. So just 10 friends a day for the next week. Let them know what you're doing and people will love to support you and just make it really easy. The more you can show people how to do it too, to just do a quick infographic, because it's actually hard to leave reviews. I think, Shauna, you were trying to leave a review for the podcast and for our podcast, and it, it's just not, it's just, they don't make it easy. So doing a little graphic screen share is good. Okay, King Sumo, this is still around and it's still free and it's still awesome. So you just go to kingsumo.com and over here on the right, top right, we're gonna click new giveaway and it just walks you through all the things you need to do, give a description, when you want to start it, when you want to end it, and when you want the prize to be awarded. What I love about King Sumo is that it, it, it's all automated, so it will pick the winner for you. You don't have to. And what I also love is that you get to decide where you want them to share your podcast, which is basically everywhere. You want them to share it everywhere. And then what you could say is they get bonus entries if they do any of these things. Okay. So you really, you're going to say you're going to get more entries. If you like us on Facebook, if you follow on Instagram, blah, 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 subscribe to the podcast, whatever. So you're going to say subscribe to the podcast and you're going to put the podcast URL and you just say, I'm going to get, you're going to get like six extra entries and then you could do another one. And then you can integrate this with your convert kit and your Zapier. And what happens is I'm going to go back over here. You can have an automated email go out. So Kelsey, who did a great job launching her podcast in the accelerator, the renegade podcast, she, this is just part of the email that she sent, but it was automatic. And it was like, boom, you're in the renegade podcast giveaway. First of all, thank you, blah, blah, blah. And send a screenshot of your, your review of the podcast to this address. So 
That's the only thing is that iTunes doesn't really make it possible for you to see who leaves the review. So you're going to want them to screenshot it with Shauna, as you'll recall on my podcast episode, I said the same thing. So in your case, maybe you give them a free one-year membership into your membership. You give them and whatever, whatever else you could just sort of dig up at the last minute. It's super easy and it gets people excited. And it's just another way to talk about your podcast and remind people. And then here's something that um, Buffer did. If you didn't want to mess with King Sumo, then you could just on, on your social media, ask people to tag someone, blah, 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 follow, email a screenshot and show a picture of the swag that you're sharing. But you said your social media is dead right now. So I would say this, this idea is probably, I would go with the other one, but still plaster it all over, still plaster your King Sumo contest all over social media, and you can share the King Sumo link. 